Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. Normally my channel is about CNC routing and CNC lasers. However, I see a lot of people asking, how do I get a link for my Etsy store? Well, this video is going to take a deviation off my normal channel stuff because I want to show people how to do that. It's super easy. Let's just dive into my computer. I'll show you how to do it. And do me a favor. If this is helpful, please give me a thumbs up and a comment. Just say, Garrett, this video helped me solve my problem. Anytime there's engagement in a video, YouTube ranks it. So that's considered engagement. All right, let's dive in. Let's solve your problem and get your links so you can get links to your Etsy store going on. We are on my computer and in my uh, YouTube studio uh, management platform here. And so I've got this video I have not published yet. and. I'm going to open it up so I can show you that there's nothing uh, linked to my Etsy. It's just my Facebook account. So here's how you grab a link for your Etsy store so that you can lead people to it from the outside. You need to be using Google Chrome. So up in the upper right-hand corner here, just below your closed window, X, you'll see a three dots, or maybe it might be a gear or something like that. If you click that, you're gonna see new tab, new window, and then new incognito window. You want to click that. And what that's gonna do is going to open up your browser in a new window as if you are somebody who's logging in from anywhere. And then you will go find your product on Etsy. So you can, you know, do it through Google, what have you, but I've got a quick link to Etsy. Normally this link to Etsy is going to take me into my dashboard on Etsy. However, since I'm an incognito, there are no password, automatic passwords that are going into it. So when I click it, it just opens up generally in Etsy. And what you're going to do is do a search for something specific within your store using keywords in your title or what have you. So I'm going to use something in my store. Let's just say Alabama State Profile Vector. And I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to look for my store. So here it is. It's this one that doesn't look very good relative to the other one, so I got some fixing up to do. However, click that one. So now here's the product that maybe you want to promote in your YouTube video or whatever social platform you're promoting on. And the thing you can do here is now, I'm gonna take you through two things here. First is if you're promoting that specific product. While you're in incognito, like I said, you are outside of your platform, your sign-in platform. Come in and click the, uh, the URL address and copy it. And this is where you're gonna love what you're about to learn. Go back to your normal dashboard, your normal uh, um, Google Chrome, where you are signed in and go to something called a URL shortener. I will leave a link to this in my description. This is called Bitly, and what it does, it shortens up links. If you take a look, let's go back to that other window, and if you take a look at the address here, it's very, very long, and that's horrible for putting into a YouTube video, so you want it to be short. So while we're in this bit.ly creator uh, URL shortener, uh, this is free by the way, you scroll down a little bit and you'll see a field that says shorten your link. So click that field and paste that in there. So control V. And now that entire address is in there. Click shorten and look at what it creates. A very short URL that's tied directly to your product. Just click the copy button and it'll copy it to your clipboard. Then go over to your YouTube channel, which I just lost mine. So I am going to go back to that and, and go back into that video. So we'll go there. 
And in the description, all you'd have to do is paste it. So link to my product and control V. And there it is. So if I click this link or let's do this, let's go back over to the incognito window. I'm going to open up a new browser window there and then paste that into the address bar and hit enter. And look what comes up. So there's your store product. Now, if you want your entire store on there, which I do recommend, uh, as well as your product link, what you'll do is while you're in your, your thing, your, your product that you found, come up here, right there, that's your store name, and click that. And that's going to take you to your store where all your products are. So those are all my products I have for sale right now. And again, you're going to copy that URL, go back to the bit.ly URL shortener, repaste that into the uh, shortener line, and click shorten. And there it is. Then, again, you'll click copy. And now you have a, the, the address to your store. And let's just make sure it works. You always want to check your links. And so I'm opening up a new window. I'm going to paste that into the address bar and hit enter. And there is IDC Woodcraft. Ooh, I'm missing a T, so I have to fix that. <laughs> Woodcraft store. So now you can go back over to your YouTube video and or your social platform, whatever. Control V. There's your link and you are set up. Hit save. And a link will be down in my description of this video. And that's how you create an Etsy link so you can distribute it all over your social platforms. All right, again, if you this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a comment. And um, yeah, glad you watched it all the way through. And anything else? Yeah, subscribe. You know, what the hell? Yeah, I mean, you know, subscription uh, always helps boost the channel as well. Anyway. Happy uh, business, whatever you're into, trying to promote your Etsy platform. We will talk to you later.